Alright. Ang sabi natin, o oh, ang konsepto ng cash to accrual, cash, di ba, pag cash basis, with regard to revenue recognition, di ba, nire-recognize mo yung revenue mo pag may pumasok na pera, may cash inflow. Whereas, uh, expense recognition pag may lumabas na pera, or cash outflow, alright? Whereas, if we talk about accrual basis of accounting, di ba, pag accrual basis of accounting, we recognize the revenue pag na-render na natin yung services, alright? Regardless of when it is collected. Okay? Whereas, if we talk about expenses naman, um, nire-recognize natin ng expenses pag na-incurred natin siya, regardless of when it is paid. Okay? O ngayon, so pinapagawaan tayo class dito ng profit or loss, eh di syempre, ang unang-una is sales. Okay? Or net sales. Sige. Alright. O tingin ka dito, nakikita nyo ba tong Excel ko? Kita nyo ba tong Excel ko, class? Yes po, sir. Very good. So, net sales. O, sabi natin, ang net sales natin, okay, since wala kang ano dito, wala namang given na sales dito, saan natin pwedeng ma-generate ang net sales natin? Saan, class? Accounts receivable, sir. Very good. Accounts receivable. O, ilagay natin accounts receivable dito. Magtiti account tayo. Okay? Accounts receivable. Okay? So, ngayon, meron tayong beginning AR. Magkano ang beginning AR natin, class? Hindi mo nakikita. Okay. Sige, i-minimize ko ito. Magkano beginning AR natin? Kano, class? 59,400. Very good. Okay? So, beginning accounts receivable is 59,400. Okay? How about your ending accounts receivable? Ending AR natin, class. 76,100. Very good. Ending. Ending accounts receivable is 76,100. Okay? Okay? So, ang sabi na, hindi ba pag nag account tayo, nandito yung credit sales. Alright. Okay? So, yun ang hinahanap natin. Okay? So, meron tayong collections from customers. O yung collections from customers mo magkano, class? 697,500. So, i-credit natin yun. Okay? Collections. 69,500. Okay? Okay. Meron pa ba tayong kailangan ni incorporate dito? Tignan natin. Basahin natin. Dito sa letter A. O anong, la, anong sabi natin sa letter A? Bad debts written off directly against accounts receivable were 10,800. Okay? Actually, meron ka pang sales return during the year Amounting to 21,000. Okay? O di therefore, i-credit natin ang sales return. Okay? Ang sales return ay 21,000. Okay ba? Alright. Tapos, meron tayong bad debts. Right off. Okay? Magkano class yun? Nakakredit 10,800. Okay. So, magkano ngayon class ang ating credit sales? O yung compute. Kano class? Compute, compute. Sir, 118,000 po ba? 697,500 ang collections natin. Ha? Ano, ano natin? Nagkaroon ng sliding error. Okay? 697,500. Okay? O magkano ngayon? 697,500 plus 21,000 Okay, plus 10,800 
plus 746,000 po sir. Very good. O, di ba? 697,500 plus 21 plus 10,800 plus 76,100 minus 59,400. Okay? 746,000 ba ang na-compute niya? Yes po. Very good. Okay? So, 746,000. O, ilagay na natin dito. Okay? Pero class, di ba may sales return ka? So, 746,000. You did a twenty-one thousand. So magkano yun? Seven to five thousand. Seven to five. Very good. Okay, seven to five thousand. Okay, net sales. Very good. Okay, next. Ano next natin? Simple CGS. Okay. Cost of goods sold. Okay. All right. So sa cost of goods sold. Wala, siyempre walang given dyan. So, saan natin makukuha yung gross purchases natin? Sa accounts payable. Okay? Accounts payable. So, credit side. Magkano accounts payable beginning na? Accounts payable beginning, how much? 63,300. Very good. 63,300. Okay? How about accounts payable ending? Accounts payable ending is 69,900. Kita mo yan? Okay. 69,900. Accounts payable ending. Alright. Tapos, meron tayong gross purchases dito. Okay. Actually, gross credit, right? Purchases. Tapos dito, meron kang payment to trade creditors. Okay? So, magkano yung payment to trade creditors natin? Tingin tayo sa disbursements. Okay? So, 536,600. Okay ba yan? So, 536,600. So, ilagay natin dito, 536,600. Okay? So, meron pa ba tayong kailangang i-incorporate? O, basa tayo sa letter B. Okay? So, sa letter B, purchase returns during the year amounted to 13,000. O, therefore, you debit, okay, the purchase return. So, may purchase return pa tayo dito. Purchase return. Magkano? 13,000. Okay? O meron pa ba tayong other relevant information na kailangan na i-incorporate? Meron pa. O ang sabi dito, class, goods received from supplier on account on December 20, 2018 costing 8,000 were not recorded by the company until 2019. O di, therefore, payables mo yan hindi mo pa na-record o anong gagawin natin, i-add natin dun sa ending mo. You understand? Goods received from supplier on account on December 20, 2018, costing 8,000 were not recorded by the company until 2019 class. So, therefore, i-plus natin yan dun sa accounts payable ending natin. You understand? So, therefore, itong 69,900 dagdagan mo pa class ng 8,000. O magkano ngayon ang magiging ending natin? $77,900. Very good. $77,900. Alright. O makukompute mo na magkano tong gross credit purchases na ito. O magkano, class? 
200. Very good. So 564 to 100. Alright. So 564 to 100. So ilagay natin dito muna. Sige. Beginning inventory. Okay. So magkano ang beginning inventory natin class? Tingin tayo dito ulit. Beginning inventory is 97,200. Right? Kita. Yes, po, sir. Very good. So, 97,200. Lagay natin dito. 97,200. Okay? How about, siyempre net purchases ito. Right? So, meron tayo dyan na 564,200 you minus the purchase returns. Okay? So, 564,200 minus 13,000. Okay? O, kano yan? Kano net purchases natin? 551,200 po. Very good. 551,200. Alright. So, Tigas, total goods available for sale, beginning inventory, you add your net purchases, o magkano class yun? 648,400. Very good. 648,200. Okay. Tapos, you deduct your ending inventory. O ending inventory is given naman. Okay. Magkano yung ending inventory natin? Sir, 400 po yung um, 400 ba? 648, 400. Thank you. O, pagdating sa ending inventory, you did up, given naman siya class, um, 105,800. Kita yaon? Kita yaon. Okay? So, 105,800. Deduct. 105,800. Okay? So, magkano ngayon ang cost of goods sold natin, class? Kano, class? 542,600. Very good. 542,600. Okay? Alright. Tapos, meron tayong gross profit dito. Okay? So, 725,000, you deduct 542,600. Magkano lalabas? 182,400, sir. Very good. 182,400. Okay? So, andyan na tayo. Malapit na tayo. Sa katotohanan. Okay? O ngayon, class, meron ba tayong other income? Okay? You look at the data. Meron ba tayong other income na kailangang i-incorporate sa income statement natin? Meron ba? Meron ba? Meron, sir. Very good. Ano yan? Rent income po, sir. Very good. I-add natin ang rent income mo. Rent income. So, magkano yun? 8,000. Alright? So, rent income natin is 8,000. O, di ma o compute natin yung total income natin. Okay, total income. Okay? Magkano yung total income natin? 200,400 ba? Okay, 190,400. Opo, sir. Very good. Total income is 190,400. Okay? O ngayon, i-incorporate natin yung mga operating expenses. Okay? Alright. Sige. Unahin natin class yung mga uh, hindi muna natin ititi account. Like, bad debts expense. Okay? Magkano ang bad debts expense natin? Di ba meron tayong bad debts written off directly against accounts receivable per 10 So, ilagay natin tong bad debts expense natin. Okay? 10 All right. Okay, All right. Next, depreciation expense. Okay. Itong depreciation expense. 
try nga natin intindihin tong depreciation. Nagbigay kasi sa klaso. Tingnan mo, kung mapapansin mo, meron kang equipment, <coughs> excuse me, net of accumulated debt. 85 siya nung beginning, tapos 95,500 siya nung ending. Okay? Kita mo yan? Tapos, meron siyang purchase of equipment na 20. Okay? So, paano natin gagawin yun? Paano natin i-recognize yung depreciation expense mo? Okay? Gawin natin, so meron kang 85,000 na beginning yung equipment mo. Right? O 85,000. Right? Tapos, i-plus natin yung pinurchase mo na equipment. Magkano yun? 20K. Alright? So, may 20K ka ngayon. Okay? Tapos, i-minus natin yung ending. O, yun ang depreciation expense mo. Okay? So, magkano ngayon ang depreciation expense natin? 85 plus 20 minus 95. Magkano? 95 po, sir. 95. Right. Very good. So, i-deduct natin ang 95. Alright. Next, meron tayo class na um, prepaid expenses and operate, uh, accrued expense. Okay. So, prepaid expense. Accrued expense. Alright. At saka si Total uh, other operating expense. Okay? Sa so other operating expense naman class, makikita mo dito sa disbursement, di ba may 94,100? O pwede na natin yun ibawas. Yan no payment, 94,100 for other operating expense. Okay? So 94,100. Okay? Alright, dito tayo ngayon sa prepaid expense. Okay? Okay, so the account ulit tayo sa prepaid expense natin. Okay? So ngayon, magkano yung beginning niya? Tingin tayo ulit. Kano beginning plus? 6,000, sir. 6,000, very good. 6K. Tapos, magkano ngayon ang ending natin? 7,500. Diba da, ano dito? Diba dapat yung credit mo yung expense incurred? Tama? Opo. Kasi prepaid expense to. Tapos pag na, na, expense, na expense mo siya or na consume mo siya, o, di ba? Nandito na siya. Makikredit yung prepaid expense mo. Tama ba? Alright. Pero dito, dito sa kaso na to, hindi. You understand? Anong nangyari? Nandito yung 1.5 mo. Ay. You understand? You understand? Andyan yung 1.5 mo. Meron kang additional na prepaid expense. You understand? Naintindihan nyo yun? Naintindihan nyo? Hello? O, sige. Naintindihan? Yes po, sir. O, yes. O, di therefore, hindi siya pa-deduct. Naintindihan nyo? Nagigets nyo yun? Dapat 1-5 ito. You understand? Yes, sir. Very good. Sana naunawaan nyo yung part na yan. Kasi ide-deduct mo siya pag expense incurred siya. You understand? Na-consume mo na siya, na-expense mo na siya. Kung baga, um, nung cash basis ka, nag-expense ka dyan eh. You understand na dapat hindi. Kaya ngayon, accrual basis, you understand, ibalik natin yung 1-5. Hindi, hindi mo siya ide-deduct. Okay? You understand? Actually dito, pwede ka rin magpapabeib. Okay, pero tini-account ko siya. Okay? Sa so, accrued expense naman natin. 
Sige, accrued the expense natin. Wait. Ipat-IP account ko to. Okay. O pagdating sa accrued expense. Hmm. Beginning natin. Magkano beginning natin? 4, 5 po. Very good. 4, 5. Ito. 4, 5. Alright. O, pagdating dito, sa ending natin, 5, 6. Tama ba? Yes, sir. O, very good. 5, 6. And? O, dito, expense talaga. Understand? Ito yung expense incurred. Kasi pag nakadebit naman siya, payment naman yun. Right? You understand? So, ang mangyayari dito, 4, 5, o 5, 6 minus 4, 5. 1, 1, sir. 1, 1, 1 ba? Oh, very good. So, 1, 1. O, di therefore, deduct tayo ng 1, 1 dito. Okay. You understand? Okay? So, magkano ngayon ang total operating expense natin? Compute nyo ang class? 114,000, sir. 114. Very good. Alright. Therefore, magkano ngayon ang operating income? One ninety four hundred minus one fourteen thousand. Kano class? Seventy six four hundred, sir. Very good. Seventy six four hundred. Okay. Parang pa ba tayong kulang? Makailangan ni incorporate. Wala nga natin to. Meron pa ba tayong kulang class? Mm, interest expense. O, san, san, san mo makukuha yung interest expense? Siyempre, sa loans, payable to bank. Okay? So, may finance cost pa tayo. Interest expense. Okay? Ngayon dito, akit natin. Interest expense. Interest expense. O, wala namang income tax. So, o, paano gagawin natin sa interest expense? Okay, so may beginning siya na loan payable sa bank na 50. You understand? O incorporate natin a uh, loans payable to bank beginning. Yan ko na lang ganito. Beginning. So beginning niya is 50k. Okay? 50,000. Right? Then mapapansin niyo may from bank loan receipts ka pa 40k. To understand, receipts from bank loan. Idagdag natin yun. Receipts from bank loan. Receipts na lang. Okay? Understood na yun. So, magkano yung receipts mo? 40K. Alright? Tapos, kapansin mo, sa payments, nagbayad tayo na loans payable to bank na 52.5. Okay, 52.5. Payment. So, magkano lahat yan, class? 50 plus 40, tapos minus 52.5, magkano? 37.500. Very good, 37.500. Okay, pero yung ending mo is, magkano? 40. Alright? O di therefore, meron tayong interest na magkano? Ending. 37.5. O 40 minus 37.5? 25. 25. Okay? Ibawas natin ngayon yung 25 na interest expense natin. Okay? O magkano ngayon ang net income natin?
7.64 minus 2.5. 73.9, sir. Okay, very good. So, oh, that is the answer. Net income, 73,900. Okay, so, sige. Okay, absorb. Ito dito natin. Okay. Okay. Ay, dapat baba pa natin siya. Okay, sige. Okay, absorb plus. Teka, teka, teka. Ayan. Okay. Alright, so let's move on. Pwede na ba tayo mag-move on, class? Naiintindihan nyo ba? O diba, nadali lang. Naiintindihan, class. Everything is clear. Very good. Everything is clear to them. Yan ang maganda na tututo. Okay? Sige. So, let's move on. Okay? So, it's a multiple choice question. Okay, number one, what is the net income under accrual basis? Okay, kumpitin natin, what is the net income under accrual basis? Okay, ganun ulit. Paulit-ulit pa na rin, no? Very good. So, net sales tayo. So, hindi given, o di therefore, kunin natin sa accounts receivable. Okay, so... Accounts receivable natin, beginning is 900,000. Kita mo yan? O the AR beginning natin, 900,000. Okay? Beginning, 900,000. Right? Next, your AR ending is 800,000. Okay? AR ending is 800,000 naman. Alright. Next, ano pang kailangan natin? Cash collections or cash collected from customers amounting to 9,500,000. So, therefore, collection is 9,500,000. Okay? Collection is 9,500,000. All right? So, therefore, how much is your credit sales? You compute. Diba? May pagano'n-gano'n tayo. Okay. How much is your credit sales class? Kano class? Kano class? 9-4 po. Very good. 9-4. 9-4. Very good. Alright. So, lagay natin 9-4. Hindi ba? Ganun lang. Pasimple. Magka-perfect na naman nila ang exam. Okay? Next, cost of sale. Okay? So, good sold. Alright? So, tingin ulit tayo dito. So, cost of good sold. Siyempre, ganun pa din yun. Hindi naman nagigiven yun. Okay? So, may inventory beginning ka ulit, 250. Okay? Ito, inventory beginning, 250. Right? Okay? Beginning inventory, 250. Siyempre, ito yung hinahanap natin, net purchases. So, net beginning inventory plus net purchases is equal to total goods available for sale minus ending inventory is your COGS. Okay? Your ending inventory is how much? 300,000. Kita mo to. 
Okay? 300,000. Okay? So, 300,000. Ilock natin, 300,000. Alright? So, net purchases natin, hindi given class. So, okay? therefore, saan natin makukuha yun? Si accounts payable. Okay? Okay. Accounts payable. Okay? Accounts payable. Alright, so sa accounts payable natin, magkano ang beginning natin class sa accounts payable? How much? 600k. Six fifty. Alright, very good. So meron tayong 650k. Alright. How about ending? Accounts payable, magkano? 500k po sir. 500, very good. Okay. Um... Payment to trade creditors, even. Cash paid to suppliers. How much? 4 million, 100,000. 100, Very good. So, 4 million, 100,000. Right? Hmm, wala namang given na purchase return. Okay? Huwag na natin hanapin yung wala naman. Okay? Sige, delete natin yan sa buhay natin. Okay? So, magkano ang gr gross purchase natin, class? Kano? Okay, you compute. 3,950,000, sir. Very good. 3,950,000. Okay? O, ilagay natin dito yung 3,950,000 since there is no purchase returns. Okay? So, 250 plus 3,950,000 is equal to, kano yan? 4.2 million, sir. 4.2 million. Very good. Then, you deduct ending inventory. Magkano? 3.9 million, sir. Very good. 3.9. O, ilagay natin ngayon yung 3.9 dito. Dito na rin ilagay. 3.9. Alright. So, how much is your gross profit? Okay. Net sales less COGS is equal to gross profit. Okay. Kano class? 5.5 million. Po. Very good. Okay. 5 million, 500,000. Alright. Ano naman itong other income ba tayo? Meron. Okay. Equipment was sold during 2021 and a gain of 300,000 was recognized. Okay. O, di therefore, i-recognize natin yan. 300,000. So, may other income tayo. 300,000. So, magkano total income natin? 5 million, 800,000. Okay? Very good. Okay? Next. Meron ba tayong operating expense? Meron. Okay, anong expense natin? Prepaid expense. Okay, prepaid expense. So, prepaid expense. Okay, so prepaid expense. Alright, yung debit mo dito is magano beginning natin? 400,000. Tama ba? Yes po, sir. Alright, ay 600. 600 eh. Okay. Yeah, po. Sige, 600. Okay. Okay. Kano naman ang pending natin? 400. Tama? Oh. Very good. 400. Okay. O tapos, meron, magkano? So, meron tayong 600, 400. Meron ulit tayong 200 dito. Tama ba? Six hundred beginning eh, tapos ending mo four hundred. So dito yung two hundred. Tama? Gets gets. Tama class? Yes sir. Very yes, good. Sir. Very good. And tapos, eto yung expense incurred mo. Okay. 
O di may 200 ka na dyan. So, i-plus natin yung 200. Ama? Okay. 200. Pero kabawasan yun, class. Okay? Hindi yung parang kanina. Sinakredit siya. Okay? Iyan yun natin. Ito, operating expense. Parang ganito. Operating expense. Okay. O, tapos, ano pa? Meron tayong cash paid for other expenses. So, 1 million 400, right? O, other expense mo. 1 million 400. Okay. So, ang total OPEX natin. 1.6. Okay. Ay, meron pa tayo class. Depreciation. Ito o, oh, depreciation expense of 900,000 was recognized. Okay. I-ano pa natin yun? Isama pa natin. Depreciation expense. Okay. Kano class? Depreciation expense. 900,000 po, sir. Okay. Very good. So, magkano lahat? Ang total natin. Expense. 900 plus 200 plus 1,4. 2, 5. Oh, po, sir. Very good. Alright, so magkano ngayon net income natin? 3.3, sir. 2.3, very good. Yan ang answer. Okay. 3.3. Alright, absorb. All right, so let's move on. So, ang magiging answer natin is, ito din yung ginawa natin. Ito din class yung ginawa natin. So, ito. 3,300,000. Okay? Number two. What is the net income under cash basis naman, class? Okay. Kapag sa cash basis, gagawin natin. So ulit. Dito naman tayo tumingin. Yun. Alright. Siyempre, pag sa cash basis, class, o makinig mabuti, siyempre, ang magiging net sales mo, itong collection, okay? So, 9,500,000, ito. Okay? So, tapos magiging cost of sale naman natin, siyempre, puro sa collection yan, okay? So, sa cost of sale natin, so may beginning inventory ka, 250, mababago tong net purchases natin. Okay? So, ano yung magiging net purchases natin dyan? Instead of 3950 ang pipikapin natin yung payment. Okay? Kasi cash basis, 4,100,000. Okay? 
So, mababago ito. Magkano yun? 250 plus 4 million 100. 250 plus 4 million 100 class. 4 million 350. Okay? Minus 300. 4 million 50. Kuha nyo class. Okay? So, 4 million 50 ngayon. Ito. Okay? So, therefore, 9,500 tapos 4 million 50. Magkano ngayon yun? Mababalitan yung gross profit natin. Okay? Kano gross profit natin, class? Nine five minus four million fifty. Five four fifty. Tama ba? Five four fifty. Yes, sir. Very good. All right. Tapos yung other income mo. Check mo kung ang other income mo may cash inflow. Saan ba siya nakalagay? Was sold, all right? And a gain of 300,000 was recognized. So, meron yan. So, i-add natin, 300. So, magkano maglalabas dito? 5,750K. 5,750? Okay. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay. Tapos yung prepaid expense mo, kung makikita mo, wala naman. Di ba dapat dito yung payment? Gets. Gets nyo, class. Di ba dyan yung payment na part? Di ba, di ba? Di ba? Walang nag-yes. Yes, di ba? Uy, class. <laughs> Tama. Okay. Very good. So, tanggalin natin to under cash basis. Wala naman eh. Right? Naintindihan. Yung depreciation expense, yaan yung exception to the rule. Mapa-cash basis, mapa-accrual basis, kinoconsider natin siya. So, stay put lang yung 900,000 yan. Okay? Yung other expenses mo, 1,400. So, 900 plus 1,400 kasi nga cash paid for other expenses naman, may cash outflow. Okay, so 900 plus 14, kano yon? 900 plus 14, 23. Okay, so magkano ngayon ang ating net income under accrual basis? Kano class? Three point four fifty thousand. Three four fifty, very good. All right, three four fifty class. Ayon, pag cash basis three four fifty. Mo lagi mo lang natanda ano sa collection. Pag nakabisado mo tong mga ti account, maning mani mo na yan lahat. Okay, collection payment. All right, prepaid expense payment. Okay, gets. Nagi gets class. Nagi gets. Very good. Ay, ang maganda sa inyo, class. Naiintindihan nyo kahit yung iba hindi. <laughs> Joke lang. Kayang-kaya nyo yan. Okay? Sige. So, move on na tayo, class. Wala naman tayong choice kundi mag-move. Sir? Yes po. Sige. Pa-screenshot lang po no sa ano, accrual basis po. Ah, sige, sige, sige. Pausog lang po, auntie. Thank you po. Very good. Sige. Naku, alam ko naiintindihan nyo yan eh. Wala. Ano na yan? Basic na basic sa inyo. Pag nagdating ka ng auditing problems, alam mo na, sa auditing problems kasi i-complicate lang niya. Okay? So, complicate niya lang. Eh, syempre, dapat lahat. Alam mo yung basic. Noon naman nag-start eh. Yung basic, alam mo kung paano yung atake sa problem. Okay? Ganun. So, Thank you po, sir. Cash to accrual. Ayan, pumapasok na sa isip mo, mag-DP account ka. Sa aking technique natin, o di ba? Yung Papa B.A.F. Dada B.A.F. Laking tulong. Okay? Sige. So, let's move on. Ito yun. 3 million 450. O, ito din yung ginawa natin. Pwede nyo naman balikan din to. Okay? Kasi pag yan ang to ganito ko lang, ipakita-pakita ko lang ito. Mahirap mong intindihin. Maganda yung sinosolve natin. Okay? 
Oy, 3450. Same answer tayo. Okay? So, 3450. Okay? Sige, eto naman, class. O, oh, 345. O, oh, i-apply na natin yung Papa Beeb na natutunan natin. Papa Beeb, Dada Beeb. Siyempre, dapat alamin mo muna kung anong nature para malaman mo yung Papa Beeb mo. Okay? Kasi baka hindi mo naman alam na prepayments yun. Hindi mo naman alam na accruals yun. Hindi mo naman alam na deferrals yun. O, di, di mo din ma-apply yung mahiwagang technique. Okay? Sige, ang tinatanong dito, class insurance expense, okay? So, kung insurance expense tayo, accrual basis yan, okay? Kasi titignan mo doon sa baba, ay sa taas, merong insurance premium paid eh. Yan yung cash basis niya, okay? Eh, since insurance yung pinag-uusapan, prepaid insurance, so prepayments yan. O di, ang i-apply natin yung Papa Beeb natin, okay? Sige, computein natin. So, insurance premium Alright, sige. So, cash basis natin ay 25,450. Okay? Yung insurance paid. Yan yung cash basis, di ba? Ano? 25,450. Okay, so sa Papa BF tayo. Okay. Prepaid beginning. Okay. Papa BM. Accrued ending. Prepaid ending. Accrued ending. Accrued beginning rather. Okay. Papa BM. Okay. Tapos insurance expense. Okay, na yan ang tinatanong sa'yo. Right? Yan ang tinatanong. Okay? So, prepaid beginning. Magkano ang prepaid beginning natin? Tingin ka sa prepaid insurance mo? Kano? Kano, class? Prepaid beginning? Kano, class? 2,400. 2,400. Kaya mo dito, 2,400. Okay? Sempre ang pinag-uusapan natin insurance expense prepaid, okay? So prepaid ending 17. Ay, kita mo yan 17. Eh di ba pag dito sa last two deduction. Ayun na agad. Ang magkano ngayon ng insurance expense mo? 2540 minus 17, magkano? 26150. 26150. Very good. Kaya mukha simple. Yan ang sagot. Papa BF. Okay. Insurance paid, cash basis sa taas, accrual basis sa baba. Okay. Uh, saan ang galing yan? Oh. Oh, pag itipi account natin, beginning, 2-4, alright, 1-7, yan yung ending niya. Tapos ang, ang hinahanap, expense incurred, o di nandun sa credit side yun. It's payment, 25,450, expense incurred, 26,150. So, agot natin is 26,150. Yun din yung papa BM. Okay? Next natin, class. No, ikaw naman, interest revenue. Okay? Kung sa interest revenue ka naman, eh, may interest receivable ka dyan, may interest collected ka. O doon ka naman sa accrual. Okay? Sige nga, tignan natin kung mag, ang magkano ang sagot. You try. Papabeheb ka ulit. Pwede rin naman dadabeheb kasi wala naman yung mga deferred sa kaprepayments na pinag-uusapan dyan. Okay? Pero accruals. Thank you. 
Kano sagot na natin, class? Letter A po ba, sir? Letter A ang sagot mo? Opo, sir. Anong ginawa mo? T-account ka? O yung Papa Beeb? Papa Beeb po. Check, check mo. Baka nagkamali yung beginning at ending mo. Tingnan mo. Magana? Letter C. Very good. Letter C is your answer. Okay? So, baka nag-ano ka lang dyan. So, dito, interest revenue. O, di ganito ulit. Okay? Ganun lang kasimple. Alright? So, dito, interest revenue. Okay? Interest revenue. Alright? O pagdating dito, ayan yung interest collected. Kasi cash basis sa taas eh, di ba? Okay? So, ang interest collected mo, 53,750. Okay? 53,750. Tapos, accrued ending mo, ito yung accrued ending natin eh, salaries payable. Ay, interest rather, interest receivable. So, 3,2. Okay? Kita mo yung 3,2. 3-2. 3-2 yan dito. Okay? 3-2. Tapos accrued beginning mo, bawas natin, 4-7. Tama? O magkano yung interest revenue natin? Compute. 53-750 plus 3-2 minus 4-7. 52-250. Para tayo sagot? Yes, sir. Very good. Okay? 52-50. Yellow natin. Yellow. Okay? So, yan. 52,250. Tingnan natin, pag tini-account natin, syempre, accrued income mo for 7 yun. Beginning. Okay? 3,2 yung ending mo. Okay? Tapos, collection mo, 53,750. Tapos, yung other income mo, 52,50. Okay? Ganyan siya pag tini-account. Same, tayong answer, 52,250. Okay? How about this one? Salaries expense. Ay, gayo, try. Papabeeb ulit yan. So, salary paid ulit, cash basis sa taas. Okay? O, tapos, papabeeb ka ulit. Salary expense yung sa baba. Kaya nasagot natin? Letter C po, sir. Sure ka sa letter C mo? <laughs> okay. Ano ba yan? <laughs> Niloloko lang. <laughs> Nag-iba agad. Letter C, tingnan natin kung letter C ang sagot. Okay, di naman dali lang. Nakumpute natin agad. Okay, so salaries paid, magkana salaries payment natin? Kano salaries payment natin? 1,600. Okay, alright. Tapos, ito ulit. Accrued ending yun, class, di ba? Ang accrued ending mo, ito yun, 10,600. Ingat ka lang sa pag-pick up mo. Okay? Accrual. 10-6. Okay? O accrued beginning mo, deduct mo yun. 12-3. Okay? Alright. O magkano ngayon ang salary expense natin? Salary expense. Kano class? 1,16,300 plus 10,6 minus 12,3. 1,14,600. Diba? Diba si Mark kinabahan? Okay. So, 1,14,600. Okay? Gets. Alright? O, saan ang galing yun? I-account din yun eh. Beginning accrued. Okay? 12,3. Tapos may ending ka 10-6 sa baba. 
Okay? Ko yung binayaran, 116,300. Adi yung expense incurred mo, 114,600. Understand? Okay. Next tayo. Ito naman, cash received for interest during 2021. O ito naman, class, pabalik ka naman kasi cash basis ang hinahanap eh. Di ba, di ba, di ba, di ba? O mag, ano ka ulit. Papabeeb ka ulit, pero pabalik. Kasi magbigay siya o cash receipt for interest. So, interest revenue. Right? Hmm. Ege, pabalik ka naman. So, may interest receivable ka, may interest revenue ka. So, yung sa umpisa, yung sa cash basis ka naman. Okay? Sir, try lang po. <laughs> Letter A, 77,100. Very good. 77,100. O, paano ginawa natin, Mark? Di ba madali lang pag in-apply mo yung formula na yan? Okay, sige. So, since uh, cash received for interest, o di yung ano, interest collected, ayan yung hinahanap, yung cash basis. Right? O, tapos, ito. Kabeed ka ulit. Okay. Tapos, interest revenue. Okay. Tama? Alright. So, ang interest collection mo, yan ang hinahanap. O, magkano ngayon ang interest revenue natin? 75.5. Right? So, ang 75.5 nandito. Ako wali. Alright. Tapos, ano yung accrued ending natin? Interest receivable. 7.5, right? Okay, 7.5. Tapos, ang accrued beginning is 9.1. P9.1, dedak. Okay, plus, plus, plus yung dalawa, minus, minus to. Right? O magkano makocompute mo? 75.5 plus 9.1 minus 7.5. 77.100. Alright. Nagigets. Ay, ba't dun po na yelo? Hindi po dapat. Alright. Naiintindihan ba, class? 77,100. Okay? So, pag tini-account natin yun. Alright. Kasi ang tinatanong, collection. Yung cash. Udi dito yun. Okay? So, may beginning tayo na 9-1. Okay. Tapos, meron tayong ending na 7-5. Right? May other income pa na 7-5-5. O, yun yung collection mo. 77-100. Right? You get that? Okay? okay? Next tayo. Cash paid for salaries. O, pa ulit-ulit lang. Cash payment. Ganun din yung approach mo. Salaries payable ka lang naman. Accrued pa din. Right? Kasi salary is payable. Sige, you try. Letter B, sir. Letter B, very good. Letter B. Di ba? Simple lang. Alright. So, ito naman, um, salaries, uh, salaries expense ka, right? So, may nahanap itong salaries paid, cash basis. Okay. 
Ali, tsaka BM mo. Okay? Tapos, ito. Um, salaries. Expense. Kano yung salaries expense natin? 65. Okay? Good beginning. 89. Awas. Okay, accrued ending for two. Pagdag yun. Okay, so magkano? 65 plus 89 plus 42. 69,700. Okay? Alright. Alright. Ang din natin, ito, 69,700. Okay? Sabayan nyo ba, class? Okay. Sige. Cash paid for insurance naman tayo, class. Ganun pa din. Ganun pa din ng ano. Prepayments ka naman. Okay. Cash paid for insurance premium during 2021. Letter. Letter what? Letter what? Letter B, sir. B ang sagot niya. Tignan natin kung B ang sagot. Tinatanong cash pay, di ba? So, papabeeb ka. Alright. So, prepaid beginning, 1-1. Alright? Prepaid ending, and five the dog okay tapos cash paid wala do ito insurance expense 96 yun yung accrual pagano Kano? Magkano, class? Nasa na kayo? 10,000. Tama? Tama ba, class? Opo, sir. 10,000. 10K. Very good. Oh, ayun din siya. Prepaid expense. 1-1-1-5-9-6-10,000. So, ayun yung payment. Cash eh, cash. Cash basis eh. Alright. Alright, pag accrued income, unearned income, oh, ito yung sa Dada Beeb mo. Okay, yung sa Dada Beeb. So, meron kang siyempre beginning of unearned, Ito pag P account to, ah, beginning. Alright? So, beginning of accrued, syempre debit yun, beginning. Okay? Yung ending mo, i offset mo. Accrued income, unearned income. Accrued income. Okay? Syempre pag debit, mas mataas yung accrued income mo. Okay? Kaya yun ang ending mo. Pero pag dito sa credit side na to, mas malaki yung unearned mo naman. Kaya credit mo naman yung ending. Kaya may offsetting yung ending sa part na yun. Okay? Siyempre, pag accrued income, other income dito, right? Tapos collection. Okay? And yung T-account, pag accrued and unearned. Pero di ba, tinitechnikan din natin siya, yung dada beeb naman, deferred naman. Okay? Sige. How much actual cash rental was received by Lions Price Company in the current year? 
Okay. So, accrued rental and unearned. So, ang tinatanong yung cash basis. O, gawin muna natin yung dadabeeb natin. So, cash. Okay. So, dito, cash rental. Alright. Tapos, rental income. Andito, accrual. Okay. So, deferred. Beginning, dadabeeb ka naman. Deferred. Ending. Alright. So, cash rental ang tinatanong. So, ibig sabihin, pabalik ka. So, ang rental income natin is 600, ay 60,000 rather. So, lalagay mo yan sa baba. 6,000. Ay, 60. 60. Alright. Next. So, meron tayong accrued ending. Alright. Yung accrued rental income, accrued ending yan, 4,000. So, lagay natin dito. 4,000. Okay? Itong oh, accrued rental beginning, 3K, di ba, nandito yan sa last two. Did, delete na, ay deduct natin. 3K. Okay. Tapos, unearned rental income ending, 7,500, December 31. Okay? 7,500. Deduct. Deferred beginning. Okay. Deferred beginning natin. Ito. 5,000. Add. Okay. O magkano ngayon yung cash rental natin? Compute. Compute class. Kano class? Letter D, sir. 500. Letter? Letter what? Letter what? Letter D. D ang sagot. 60. Papaakit tayo, ha? 60 plus 3 plus 7.5. minus 5. 61, 500. Okay? Kasi 60 plus 3 plus 7, 5 minus 4 minus 5. Diba? 61, 500 is your answer. Okay? Sabayan ba class? 61, 500. Yan ang answer natin. Okay ba class? 19 diyan? Okay? 61, 5. Di therefore, kung ITT account natin siya, ito yun. 3K yung accrued beginning natin. Diba? 3K. Tapos, 5,000 naman yung deferred beginning. Okay? O di kung may 4K, tapos unearned mo 7,500. Okay, Pwede natin. O di meron kang unearned income dito na 3,500. Kaya yung ending natin, 3,500 doon. Mas mataas yung unearned eh. Okay? Kasi 4 versus 7,500. Kaya 3,500 yung unearned. Okay? In offset. Other income natin, 60. Diba yun yung accrual? Eh, ang tinatanong yung collection mo eh. Kaya 61,500. Diyan siya nanggaling. Okay? Nawaan. Naintindihan. Alright. Doon din yun. Accrued ending mo versus deferred ending. Mas mataas yung unearned eh. 7,500. Kaya 3,500. Nandun yung ending mo sa kabila. Pero in the event na mas mataas yung accrued, E di yung ending mo sa accrued, yun yung may, may laman. Okay? Sige. Very good. So, ngayon, ito. how much is the rental income under accrual basis? Sige, you try nga. Time of babe company has the following information. Tada, babe, ulit. Diba? Pero accrual ka naman. Kanina, nag-cash basis tayo. Eh. Ngayon, accrual ka naman. Sige, you try.
Oh, it's our answer class. Answer, answer. Anong answer natin? Dadabe eb ulit yan. Anong answer natin? Ingatan mo lang yung pag-pick up mo sa mga figures. Sayang naman, madali lang. Eh, diba? So, cash basis ka, syempre, kasi rental payments receive 4 million. Right? May nakasagot na. May nakasagot ba? Cash rental 4 million. Okay? Deferred beginning, itong unearned rent mo, 1 million to. Okay? 1 million to. So, accrued end, yung accrued, 800. Okay? Deferred ending, 2 million. Okay? Deduct natin 2 million. Accrued beginning, Ito, deduct natin, 1.6. Okay. Ano class rental income natin? 2.4 million, sir. Very good, 2 million 400,000. Ay, nandun. Okay, 2.4. Alright, so kung mapapansin natin, Pagdating dito, ang beginning deferred natin, ang accrued is 1.6, right? O tapos, ang beginning natin sa deferred ay 1.2, okay? Ang ending natin, accrued uh, ending natin 800 versus deferred ending na 2 million, 1.2. Kaya ang ending natin, mapupunta pa rin sa unearned, right? Kita yun. Okay? Tapos, other income mo, 2.4, kasi rental income yun. O tapos, yung collection, and then, 4 million. You understand? Okay. So, 2.4. Okay, collection, 4 million, 2.4. Kapag prepaid expense, ito din yung Yan naman din yung papabeheb natin. Same, same lang. Inumbine natin siya. Yung prepaid, saka accrued. Okay. Alright. Ganun din. Yung parang treatment kanina. Okay. So, yun siya. So, 11, how much is the interest expense should elemental report for the current year? Okay? So, ito, ipapabeheb naman natin ito. Okay? So, ganyan siya. Okay? So, since interest expense ang hinahanap, di therefore, ano yan, accrual. Right? So, elemental paid interest total of uh, 5 million. Okay. So, interest paid. Interest paid. So, ang interest paid mo is 5 million paid interest, right? X, prepaid beginning mo, ito, 500,000. Okay? Tapos, anong next? Accrued ending. Ang accrued ending natin ay December 31, 2.5. Okay? 2.5. Prepaid ending mo, 
1.5. Okay? Deduction. Okay? Accrued beginning mo, ito siya. 2 million. Okay? Deduct 2 million. Paano class ang insurance expense natin? 5 million 4. plus 4. 5 million, sir. Pagano? 4.5? Yes, sir. Very good. 4.5. Ganun lang siya. Ang kasim. Okay? 4.5. Okay? Sa nanggaling? Ayan din siya, class. Beginning, accrued 2 million. 5 million beginning. Mas mataas yung ending mo doon sa accrued. Kaya nandun siya sa side na yun. 1 million. Okay? Then, 5 million yung payment. Expense incurred for 5. Okay? Alright. Sige. Ganun lang siya. Okay, next. Okay, last problem na tayo, class. So, ito naman, cash payment for operating expenses. Therefore, pabalik ka naman kasi cash basis. Alright? Ganun pa din kasimple. Pabeeb ka ulit. Okay. Okay, so ito, operating expenses mo, 285. Dito ka sa accrual. Ang hinahanap yung sa taas eh. Kasi cash payments, cash basis sa taas, di ba? Cash payments, operating expense. So, okay. Okay? So, ang operating expense natin is 285. So, okay? 285. Alright? Prepaid beginning, prepaid expense beginning mo ay 60. Okay? 60. Good ending mo. 55. Okay. 55. Repaid ending mo. 69. Okay. Get up. Ano accrued beginning natin? 210. All right. O, magkano ngayon ng cash payments for operating expense natin, class? Work back mo. Kano, class? Two forty nine thousand, sir. Very good. Two forty nine. Okay. So bold yellow. Okay. Ano siya? Two forty nine. Okay. Masa nang galing pag pini account natin siya. Hmm. Kasi payment yung hinahanap nga. Okay. So beginning prepaid may sixty tayo. Abayan yun. Okay. Tapos sa accrued meron tayong two ten. All right. So, 69 ang ending mo prepaid. Tapos, accrued mo 255 ang ending mo. Therefore, andun ka sa accrued approval side. Accrued expense, 186. Kasi yung offset natin, right? 186. So, tapos, meron kang 249,000 na um, expense incurred. Okay? So, 249. Parang ano siya, mali. Mali siya sa ano. Sa slide, dapat ay 285. Dapat ito 285. Okay? Alright. Sige. Okay. Okay. So, yun na class. Alright. Sige.
Okay, class. So, I hope that you learned today. Na tuto ba kayo? And I hope ma ano na kayo, class. Ready na kayo sa midterm examinations. Okay? O sige, any questions before we dismiss? Kasi may magpe-prepare pa ako doon sa event namin. Okay, sige. Do you have any questions? Ang midterm exam natin, I think, um, ready ka na. Pag-aralan mo lang yung, ano, yung mga pinag-aralan natin. Kung nakikinig ka naman, right? At makakasagot at makakasagot ka niya. Midterm exam, ano nyo ba ngayon? Week nyo sa ibang subjects? Opo, sir. Ah, so, ano, medyo busy kayo sa mga gen ed. May gen ed ba kayo? Isa lang po, sir. La, um, this week po, ano, nakaschedule po auditing tax. Ah, okay. Sige, sige. Ilang, ilang, one day lang sila naka-open. Or depende po? po sa prof po, sir. Ah, depende sa prof. Okay, sige, sige. So, I hope that you learned uh, for today. So, if you have any question, you can ask. Doon ang unti natin ngayon, no? You can ask doon sa canvas natin. And don't forget to write your takeaways. Okay? So, good goodbye. And see you next time. Okay? Ingat kayo lahat. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, then. Bye-bye. Thank you, po. Thank, Thank you, po. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.